Steven, you guys uh, scored just about every possession you had today. You know, obviously, Mike, the passing game was working, but you had over 100 again today, too. You guys, can you talk a little bit about just how you guys were clicking on that long? And, and, uh, but, but also, maybe you're concerned about not finishing some guys or settling for field goals. Um, I think it just all comes back to practice, you know? That's all we was focusing on was finishing. We finished every drive, even if it was a field goal, you know? We still had to put points on the boys some way. Um, and yeah, Michael Penix played amazing. Uh, how many yards did he have? Psst, yeah, baller, baller. Um, you know, the offensive line did what they needed to do. Uh, I think everybody was attention to detail in practice this week, and that's the main goal, you know what I mean? We got to stay attention to detail. Uh, our OC was calling great plays, great protections, and we just were in the film room all week, and I feel like that's what it takes. Steven, they fed you the ball a lot on those first two drives. How did that establish a rhythm for you think as a runner, uh, getting the ball as many times as you did? Um, I think I think it, it it helped me get in the rhythm real good. You know what I mean? Cause uh, you need that to get warmed up in the game. I would say you know warming up before the game that's good and all, but you need those touches in the game to get familiar with it, familiar with how we're blocking, familiar with how they're f filling the gaps. You know what I mean? It helps out a lot for a running back and the offense in general. You mentioned Michael at the beginning. What impressed you by how he handled this whole week, especially with Cincinnati after you know throwing some tough picks, having to shake that off? Uh, focus, good example. You know what I mean? He wouldn't want to know, and that's what we preach all the time. Great example. Yeah, I couldn't ask for more from a leader on our team like that. Max in the Met. Even just off, obviously getting involved a lot more in the game, over 100 yards, two touchdowns this game. Um, but there were a few sections there where Tim Baldwin came in a lot more. Was that just kind of getting looks at different packages, or were you dealing with anything on the sideline? Uh, nah, Tim. Tim's a baller. You know what I mean. He deserves to be in the game just as much as I do. Everybody eats. You know what I mean. I think, yeah, he he deserves to eat. Man, last one. Uh, Steven, this is the, I think the third game where the offensive line that you guys were using for most of uh, fall camp has been playing together. Have you started to see them start to gel more and, and kind of get that cohesiveness that obviously is so important to the old line and just kind of play more as a unit? And, and, you know, I mean. I, Stash up, but you kind of see it when you're the ball. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I I see it all over the place, on the field and off the field. You know, and I feel like it comes with everybody gelling. Me uh, being in sync with them, the tight ends being in sync with them, the quarterback being in sync with them. I feel like we all have to be on the same page in order to reach the same goal. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I feel like they're doing exceptional, amazing.